Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome you to my first ever Sea of Thieves video. I really enjoy this game. It's a game that I often play in my downtime. I'm a pirate legend here and uh, that shows how much time I sank into this game. So I hope I'll get to entertain you for a little while with this video as well. And with that all being said, I bring you my first ever challenge video in this marvelous game. The challenge is very simple. Dave and I have to survive on this deserted island for seven days and we have seven days to get off this island and get to a safety of an outpost. We can't use the rowboat, we can't use our ship, and as you all know, swimming is not really an option because waters around this island are infested with sharks. And this, this is where our story begins. We don't got any time to waste, we did the math. Seven days is three real-time hours. And the lads you are watching frolicking around on this here island got better things to do than spend- <laughs> Who am I kidding? I got nothing else to do. We have three hours to grab the attention of a passing ship, ask them kindly to bring us to an outpost and then call it a day in the tavern. I think we're gonna be off this island by sundown. Now how on earth are you going to do all of this, I hear you ask? Well, this is the plan. We are going to build an enormous SOS sign out of the explosive kegs that two skeletons we named Harry and Barry kept bringing up to the surface of this island. There is also a handy ammo chest on this here island, so when the time comes and our saviors are getting close, we would draw their attention by blowing up half of the island and shooting our guns frantically in the sky. But before we get to that stage, we have to survive. So I put my shovel to the ground and started digging up snacks from Mother Nature herself. As for hydration, after eating said snacks, my body produces a stream of sprunk, which I will catch with my bucket for later consumption or throw it over Dave. We had a plan, we had food to keep us alive, now it's time to wait for ships to pass us by. Oh, who's that there? We have a... we have a briggy? And so... Night came, and the night brought forth lights and sails on the horizon, a brigantine, our saviors coming into our direction. In our minds, we were already in the tavern at the nearest outpost, enjoying a fine sprunk in the moonlight. Now, it's time to draw their attention, and what better way than using a cheeky keg? Oh god! But tragedy struck. The ship sailed straight into an armada of any skeleton ships. Oh my goodness! And the following morning, their ship joined ours on the ocean floor as they all perished below the ocean waves. We have six more days, plenty of time to get this challenge done. And if anything, we nearly got rescued on the first day. I mean, if all of that went down on the first day, chances are high that we will see more ships passing by. But there is one tiny problem with our plan. So what if a ship comes our way? We light up the sauce, we draw their attention. What stops them from killing us right there and then on the spot? We remember the fish in the ocean. Yeah, some of them valuable, some of them not so much, but us giving them a fish or two, which surely persuade them to take us with. And so, we have some fish, we have some valuables, our keg sauce is coming along greatly. Now, it's time to wait again. Night came, and this night was eerily still. A storm quietly brewing on the horizon, the sound of the wave crashing onto the island. No Harry and Barry in sight. I decided to fill the quiet with a bit of music, but then, morning came. And in the early hours of the third day, I spotted sails over yonder on the horizon, a sloopy, and oh my god, just a few clicks west, a brigantine. We are currently about 40 minutes in, and finally, a glimmer of hope. Our sauce sign is currently not ready yet, but we decided, hell, if the time comes, we will light up the SO, and hopefully, they will still understand that we need help, and hopefully, they don't think SO means significant other, and that the loud boom is an invitation to plunder our boot. But as time went on, things started looking more bleak. But there's still the brigantine. We must remain hopeful. I decided to go for a quick swim, maybe find more valuables on the ocean floor. But I had then... to bring an air when I came on today. What the hell? What the hell? Did it go too oh far? Oh my god, there's, there's the brig. The brig is close. It's now or never. I swam back to the island, but damn it. Harry and Barry yet again tried to stop us. No, we yelled. Not now. We used our pirate megaphones to lure them to us. Where's my speaking horn? 
am I speaking on? <laughs> How does it work? You over there on the island yonder, help us. Help us, we're stranded out here. If you don't come and rescue us, I'm gonna sh** in you. But it was to no avail, and just like that, the brigantine sailed away, and we were once again left to our own devices. Reality started sinking in. Maybe, just maybe, this was not going to be as easy as we thought it would be. We are now one and a half hours in, and salvation is still not upon us. It's time to turn in for the day. Oh, oh Dave, Dave, oh I'm, I'm stuck in the animation, man! I've come for you! It's gonna block! Oh, oh, it's gonna block! Oh, it's gonna block! Oh. It's gonna block! Oh! Idiot! Oh my god, the S! How <laughs> fun we were down for that! We are nearly halfway through the week. We are yet stranded and haven't made any contact with anyone. And to make things worse, a storm is about to roll over this island. Not only is our entire sauce at risk of getting struck by lightning, every boat in the area will go wide around this godforsaken island. And as the storm was approaching us with it, came morning four. We need to ration our resources. We didn't expect we were going to be on this island for so long, and the problem isn't health. We could eat worms and leeches for months if we need to. No, the problem is ammo. Our ammo crate was depleting quickly, and with that gone, we have no way of dealing with Harry and Barry. Also, we wouldn't have any means to shoot frantically up in the air if our savior is gone, which is also very important. So. I slept in this tree while Dave was on the lookout. Stop wasting ammo, man! But the storm went by and Dave went for a swim when suddenly... Whoa, no! What? Evans, there's a f***ing shark. Shark meat. Finally, something other than worms, but it isn't cooked. But we have a plan, ladies and gentlemen. We have to get creative. God damn these two again. I can't drop it on the floor, can I? Oh, yeah. No, I'd have to burn you alongside. It's worth a shot. <laughs> <laughs> and thus, I handed over a firebomb to Dave. Nice throw like. Oh my. Give me another. Okay, take two. Set me on fire. Do me. And so I went up in flames in the hopes of cooking this damn meat, but it was to no avail. The fire didn't want to cook the shark meat, it only wanted to cook me. By scream to the gods above, why must you torment us? Why? No, I'd rather not. What was that sound, Dave? Dave, the galleon! But then... A galleon, the galleon on the horizon! It's going across, but I can hear it, so if we blow, blow up... Uh, I think we need to blow it up. I think we need to blow... No! It's not that time! It can hear... I can hear the cannon fire, so they can hear the explosions. Maybe we should make this into a line, so we can blow it up in a line. A great plan. Screw the sauce, we are going to spread these kegs out over the entire island to blow everything up. If that doesn't draw their attention, I think nothing will. But ladies and gentlemen, shortly after all of that, the galleon too turned its back on us and sailed away. Man, the galleon is sailing away into the f***ing sunset too, like... The storm was long gone, and we decided to spread out the treasure we have found all over the island, place them on high points so when our saviors come, they will surely notice the treasure and they would want to pick us up. And in the early hours of day five, a ship, a galleon, this was it. Ship? Galleon? We started frantically signaling it. If we can see its lights, they may be able to see our lights. But nothing happened. They were just sitting there. As hours upon hours went by, I decided to go for a quick nap and get myself a real life coffee when suddenly... It's moving, and even better, it's coming our way. Oh my god. That's serious. Look at me. Oh my god, look at that. Oh. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, we could, the the we could physically oh god, see the sails. Oh. The ship is pointing oh. right to us. We are ready to do everything in our might to draw their attention and make them stop. This is it. This is the one. No. No. I think they're in hearing distance, Dave. Should we just set up one? Oh, you got it, I'm, I'm dealing with skellies. Setting one off. Do it. Oh, do it. Help us, we've been shipwrecked here for a week! Go straight forward! Please! Please!
Dave. Yes? For sake. Oh my For god, it has. For sake, man. Well, I'm gonna go back to fish. <laughs> <laughs> well, back to the task at hand. Two hours. Two hours we spend on this island and we have already lost our minds. And time ticked on like the cruel mistress she is. We inch closer to our inevitable death with each and every passing second. But night five. Night five was the quiet before the storm. Sails, sails on the horizon, I mumbled to Dave, dehydrated and slowly going insane. There was a galleon one island over. We are running low on water. We are running low on food. We have dug up every freaking worm and leech there is on this island. Our ammo is nearly depleted. And at the end of tomorrow, we will find our demise on this island. But then... Diagonally going out, it's straightening. It's straightening. It's coming. It was coming straight for us. We are now alive. We light up this entire island. We will do whatever we can to stop them. This is our moment. But then, it turned away. Oh, they turned it towards us. They must have heard us. They set a course right past our island. Ladies and gentlemen, this is it. Set it. off the kegs. Go, go, go. Please, we're coming. Hold up. Drop the anchor. Please. Please, you and the girl, you have been stranded here Please for a week. Please drop the anchor. Rescue us. Help. Stop. There is treasure upon the island. Rescue us. Please, Please. drop the anchor. Please. Please. You bastards. And just like that, the ship sailed off in the sunset, and the sun set over the horizon and took our last bit of hope with it. Tomorrow is day seven, and at the end of the day, we will perish upon the sands of this island. Night went by, day seven came, and what happened on day seven? Well, no one knows. Some say they perished on the sands of the island. Some say they tried to swim and met their demise in the ocean. Others say they were eventually picked up and saved, but the story that I like to believe, the two skeletons that roamed this island, they haven't always been there. This was the story of how two men got stranded. This is the story of how they fell, how they are still collecting kegs, how they are still shooting up in the sky, how they are still waiting to be picked up. But the weeks turn to months, months to years, and now they've long forgotten why they were there in the first place. And so I ask you, next time you pass Lonely Island, raise your glass to pay respects to the poor forgotten sailors. Oh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Now. It's time to thank all the 200 members of this YouTube channel. Thank all of you. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I love this game to bits and I've always wanted to do content in it. So uh, yeah, like I said, I really hope you enjoy it. Next challenge will be in GTA Online and it's already in the making. So stay tuned for that. That'll come very, very soon. And yes, that all being said, I will see all of you later. Okay, peace out.